being able to see the stream. But yeah, hopefully with everything that's gone on, we'll be able to give you a reason to enjoy yourself this evening. <laughs> You're a good man. You've had this channel going for a while now. Seven years. Good for you. Seven years. Social media tour. I'm also gonna close the window just so that we don't have any inadvertent ambient noise. There we go. Interfering. Yeah, it's been a pretty biz busy weekend for myself. I've been, um, I was been in Toronto the last two days at a oh. another charity event involving video gaming, supporting sick kids. Good for you. Where was that? It was at the Anime North convention. Okay. Over near the Pearson. Very good. So you stayed over for a couple uh, the night and. Or did you go back and forth? Yeah, actually, I scored a pretty good deal on a thirty-dollar Airbnb. Thirty bucks? Mm-hmm. Holy cow! You're gonna have to teach me how you do this. <laughs> all right. So now that we've got that all taken care of, that means we should be fine now. So go ahead and hit start and. Yeah, we are apologies for the delay, ladies and gentlemen. We're sorry if you see blue screen right now. Um, but we are on the Final Fantasy XIV title screen. And we do... He is late, but we do have him now. <laughs> My, our very own um, resident um, worker for hire, raising money for cystic fibrosis, Mike Farwell of Farwell for Hire. Um, we might, might remember we had him here last year for Rocket League. Um, this time, instead of calling the action, this time we're going to put him in the action. Mike, welcome back to Let's Play Nobora Autism. Matthew, thank you very much. I'm so sorry to be late. I was trying to squeeze in too much work today. And I hope that there isn't a lot of expectation on me for this game. I've <laughs> never played it before. Well, well th this shouldn't be too hard for you to pick up. We'll teach you as we go along. So why don't we go ahead and get off the title screen. So, uh-oh. I need to refresh the title screen here. Alright, so we're going to have you have the opportunity to play the game from the very beginning. So that means we're going to have you go on a journey and create your very own character, your very own Warrior of Light, to embark on this journey into Final Fantasy XIV. So awesome. are you ready? Yes, I am. Absolutely. Alright, so we will now pass okay. the controllers over to you. So... We'll give you the chance to create your character. So you have six different races to choose from. Humans, elves, dwarves, human-cat hybrid, giant, and human-dragon hybrid. So, All right. plus also gender is also an option as well. So you're interested in the dwarf? I am All interested right. in the dwarf, yeah. All right, so um, basically this is your starting stat, depending on which one you want to go with. Okay. And now you get to choose the various attributes of your character, how tall you or short you want it to be, um, a whole bunch of other options. So yeah, your character is currently about three feet tall, and then just a little higher oh, than that. Okay, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. So I like, I like him around here, that's good. All right. Okay. And then choice to go with a more fair color or more or darker skin color, whatever you're interested in. And 
now you get to decide on what hair he can play with hat off on. If you use the right joystick, you'll be able to pan the camera around so that oh. you'll get a different angle of what it will look like. So, it, and then it. the left D-pad will allow you to um, select from the various hairstyles, including having a shaved head. I like that idea. I like that <laughs> idea a lot. All right, then you can also choose the color of your hair as well. And then four different faces that you can choose <laughs> from. You have jaw, eye shape as well. Also, if the size of the ice is too big for you, you can always shrink it. You can choose the eye color. So, eyebrows, nose. Holy cow, there's a lot. That's it. That's it. And as well as the size of the mouth or how it looks. Wow, well, we all know I'm a big mouth, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, you can even give your character lipstick, too. Your shape. Because, yeah, because you're playing as a dwarf. Oh, I like that one. And you can also determine how big you want yours to be. <laughs> and then you also get a few facial features like facial hair, earrings, as well as a thing on your forehead if you want. Yeah, I'll give you a little goatee. Yeah, I like that. You can also have yeah little tattoos as well. Yeah, they come out come out in white streaks, but you can change the color if, if you want. Also, hello to all of the viewers who are joining us this evening. Thanks so much for being with us. Um, we hope you'll take the time to um, support the stream this evening. This is um, in support of Cystic Fibrosis Canada. Uh, charity that is very near and dear to our special guest this evening. Um, we do have a link for um, if you are able to or know someone who can donate this evening, please click on the posted link to be able to do that. <laughs> Alright, so now that you've gone through the character creation, you can go ahead and press down to confirm your, your the creation of your character. Um, no need to worry about saving appearance data. Uh -huh. Okay. Now you get to choose your birthday. Uh -huh. So if you tap up, you can choose the month, which in this case, um, the list is essentially January to December. So what you're currently on is January. Gotcha. And then down at the bottom would be December. Okay. And for some reason, they do have 32 days a month in this game. Well, that's okay, because my campaign's uh -huh. supposed to last for a month, and <laughs> I'm making up a 38 thing. All right, and now you get to choose your horoscope. This used to mean something when the game first came out, but now it's just for, for looks. Uh -huh. And now for the main part, choosing what you get to play as. You have five options for Disciple of War and three options for Disciple of Magic. Also, what you choose to start the game as also determines where you start the game. Okay. So I like pugilist. Pugilist, so martial artist, all right. Okay. So yeah, go ahead and select that world as your default. That'll actually help you um, with double experience for you doing. So now you get to name your character. So um, when, if you, when you select on it and press triangle, you'll be able to put in a name, up to 15 characters for first name and last name, but a total of 20 characters um, but for both your first name and last name, you can include dashes and apostrophes. Okay. Uh, As we welcome a new viewer to the channel, Ak Akahito Yamaguchi. Welcome to Let's Play No Overall Autism. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us tonight. Wizard, huh? Yeah. All right, and then once you cho once you've chosen your um, first name, you can then press R two. Oh, if Wizard Flynn is going to be your entire name, you can um, press Square to go back. 
and then pr press R2, which is this oh, at the down bottom. Here, yeah. Put a space. Oh, yep. I got you. And then I got you. And then you can put you press circle to cancel out of first name, then go over to surname. Gotcha. And then you can put in the, the oops, oops. Press back up. Um, up on the D pad, and then to the right. Oh, it's not doing that. Let's press circle. Press circle. Press to the right. Okay, that's weird. Why isn't it doing letting you do that? Try it again. I think you keep pressing twice. There you go. Okay, that's X. Now X and triangle. It's right up there. <laughs> and then press R2. Okay, circle out. Circle out, and then press down to confirm. Alright, begin a new game with this character. Oh, oh. Press down. And go select OK. And away you go. So yeah, every, like I said, because you're um, choosing a diff cer certain class, you'll be cer starting in a certain city. So you chose to start in Olda, which is located in an Arizona-style desert, but it is home to a um, Sultana, who is the leader of her people. So now you get to see your character coming to life, as it were. So there he is. He reminds me a lot of me. And we're going to be dropped into the world. Well, not quite. We've got to make a detour along the way. Yeah. Because someone's calling out to you. And he looks very determined. Yeah. Feel. I think we see the lights. And we want to go towards it. Yes, we do. But as we go towards it, yeah, suddenly... Whoa! Yeah, someone wants to say hello. And he doesn't look very happy. Hear. Feel. Sing. Luckily for you, you do have a way to fight back. Because this gonna, special light is going to give you some special powers. Yeah, now you're tricked out in this fancy outfit. Yeah, you got your powerful pair of fists and you're not afraid to use them. This guy doesn't look afraid either. No, he does not. And in a blinding flash of lights, everything then goes to black. And so, yeah, someone's trying to get your attention. Hey, you. Yeah. All right, press X to continue. It was all a dream. Whoa. Yeah, this guy was trying to get your attention. Ah, yeah. gotcha. You were moaning something fierce for a while there. Feeling the effects of the Aether, I reckon. You'll get used to it, though, don't worry. So, yeah, you're riding on this. I would call it a horse drawn carriage, but these birds are. Unique to Final Fantasy, they're known as chocobos. They are in place of horses. Yeah, and someone else wants to get our attention. Halt, he says. Yeah, this carriage has to stop for a moment. Yeah, what's this all about? Uh-oh. Yeah, they're in it. It's a hostile inspection. 
Search the carriage, he says. Yeah, it's not just these two. Yeah. I'm John, an honest peddler friend, so uh, don't be too disappointed if you don't find nothing, eh? Mind your tongue, old man, lest I cut it out. <laughs> yeah, where you're going, these guys are the police around here. Somnus! <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, we found something. Honest peddler, was it? Since when do honest peddlers deal in prohibited herbs? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rot in a dungeon till the end of your days unless you can afford the fine. <sighs> Business as usual. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't... Things don't work out too well for him. But now... Yeah, this is a bad time to come under attack. Yeah. We gotta defend ourselves. From... Yeah, not that guy, but these guys. Yeah. Consider this a warning. Now go, all of you. So yeah, as those guys will protect us, we gotta make a break for it. And unfortunately, they suck. <laughs> yeah, that one guy just got knocked off his arms without it, or knocked off his teeth without even trying. That kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. <laughs> you be careful around them brass blades, lad. Bastards will have your shirt off your back if they fancy it. Like common bandits, they are only less honest. Thank the gods for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? And seeing we've still got a long ride ahead, you mind me keeping me company till we arrive? Them youngins don't care much for conversation, see? Yeah, they're, they're more into texting. <laughs> and sleeping. Classic Millennials. Brent's the name and Pedlin's my trade. And judging by your unusual garments, I'll gauge, wager you're one of them new adventurers. I knew it. Go on wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business, these days especially. What was that first attracted you to it? So this is the first opportunity where you get to make a choice. So you're going to respond whether or not you're trying to gain power, win glory, amass a fortune, or say nothing at all. Out for glory, huh? Out for glory. Glory, eh? Well, if you're willing to take them tasks on as other folk ain't, an adventurer such as yourself can win fame what coin can't buy. When you arrive in town, you'll want to report to the Adventurer's Guild. You can find out everything you need to know about the adventuring business in there. Just remember though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. <laughs> by the by, is this your first trip to Ulda? So you'll be given the option to say yes or no. So yeah, since this is your first trip to Ulda, and honest. also your first time to play the game, is it? Well then, let this journey to itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Now for a synopsis of where you're going. Old Oz ruled by the Sultana, in name. But as most folk know, the Syndicate holds all the real power. Them and their monetarist cronies would happily get rid of her great soul together, but that won't happen while she still commands the loyalty of the Royalists. And the Royalists are nothing if not loyal. These factions have fought over a power of throwing the weight of their wealth against each other, and they show no sign of stopping. Of course, the Lizardmen, that's the Amalja, couldn't care less about Old Don politics. They have their own interests, and they ain't afraid to use force to serve them. They say war is a gift to peddlers, near breed and profit, and though it shames me to say it, I'm inclined to agree. Ah, how long last? Behold Ulda, jewel of Fenlin, where folk turned sand into gold. Deep in the sun-baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance, her name, Ulda.
Even with the coming of the seventh Umbral Era, hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nald Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. And of course, that'll be you. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. So it's time to get off. And here's where we part the ways, lad. I'm off to Marcus to deliver me wares, and then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this, by way of thanks for putting up with me prattle. And he gives you a little ring that you'll get to wear. You never did tell me your name, though. But hey, here's an idea. Become the sort of story personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. <laughs> Hey there, Lou. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. And so, with a look of determination, in we go into the city of Ulda itself. Yeah, hello to all of our new viewers who are joining us this evening. Thanks so much for being part of tonight's special stream. And as we support the Farewell for Hire campaign, we're glad to have you with us. And don't forget to please click on the link if you are able to make a donation to support this cause. We would be certainly happy if you can. Yeah, so now you get to see all of Uldah's grandeur. And this place is big. So you'll definitely have a lot to explore. But it's not just about exploring the city, too. Oh, adventure! Over here! Yeah, this guy's getting your attention. Hi, oh, I mean you. Fish off the cage by any chance? Eh? How can I tell? <laughs> yeah, you're just confused, like what? Name's Warman, and my business is knowing every bugger else's. <laughs> now then, what would the farmers to offer you some invaluable advice of way of coming to our fair city? Free of charge, even. Just this once, like. Yeah, look at the grinning that he's got. So, yeah, now he'll give you his own take on the city. So, welcome to Ulda, a shiny beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Thanlin. So click the control screen you wish to use, so click on that because we're going to be, um, yeah, we'll be sticking with controller. Gotcha. So, yeah, I've already explained the basic controls, so you can just press X. When you're ready to proceed, speak to Wyman. And also, um, if I can get you to press the, on this touchpad, that'll highlight the controls on the left, or the control layout on the left, and then you can press X to cancel it out. Or circle, sorry. Oh, sorry. Alright, so go ahead and speak to Wyman, because he has the icon above his head. So run up to him with the left joystick. And then double click on his name with X. Alright, so you get your first quest called Coming to Ulda. To be recognized as an adventurer in the city-state of Ulda, you must register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. So go ahead and press X to accept the quest. Okay. Tis plain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged or worse, and I don't want that on my conscience. So before you do anything else, you'll head over to the Quick Sun and speak with Mamodi. She's the master of the adventurers, Guild, and can set you on the right path. So yeah, it's that building with the doors right there. Just take those steps over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventure, adventurer. 
Oh, good to see you again healed there. So you begun a quest. So also press the touchpad in order to clear the green icon off your screen too. Use the duty list to help you complete your task. So the duty list will be showing up on the left side of your screen, as well as the little um, map of the city as well. So go ahead and press the touchpad again in order to clear the things off and circle. And then do it again. Touchpad X to confirm. Oops. Circle. Sorry. Press the touchpad to... Um, and then X to confirm. Circle to take it off. There you go. So go ahead and take a left then. And head up the stairs. And then, yep, in the doors. So behind the pillar there in the middle is going to be Momodi. So walk around through the middle. So yeah, you go over to where the green icon is there. That's where she'll be. And then go ahead, touch pad and circle again. And then double click to speak with Momodi. Oops, cancel out. Yeah, accidentally press um, again. And then double click on X to speak with Momodi. Um, if you check the title there, Lou, this isn't my character. This belongs to our guests. Now there's Momodi. Why, hello there. Who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you've come to the right place. My name's Momodi, and I own this fine establishment, if it please you. I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Old Oz, so you might say that looking after green adventurers like yourself is my vocation. And lucky for you that it is. Without someone like me to steer you right, you'd soon find yourself in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. Like our conflict with the Amalja, for example. They've been plaguing the Sultanate for nigh on, ooh, forever now. And then there's the Garlean Empire. None can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. Yeah, those are the main villains of the game, the Garlean Empires. And yeah, there are even harems in this city. Ah, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all there's worry. Worry and a fit lingering feeling of loss. And little wonder, it's scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into an eighth hell. So much was lost in the blink of an eye. T'was like the end of the world had come at last. But things began to get foggy. Everyone's got their own version of what's happened next. Some of them two or three. You'd think you would remember something like that, but the fact is, they don't. Nobody does. There is the one thing the survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they never returned. Deeds worth remembering, I'm sure you agree. It's just a shame our collections, of, our recollections of those brave heroes are as jumbled as those of the Calamity itself. Mm. Whenever we try to call their faces to mind, it's like they're standing between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if we can't remember them, we'll not let them be forgotten. And so we'll call them the Warriors of Light. And they'll forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. That's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself to our fair city. All I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to leave Old Eye in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'd be happy to let you join the guild. Alright then, a promise is a promise now. I'm counting on you to help put the past behind us. We need people working and spending and bickering like the old days. And a happy and prosperous old dog means more business for the quicksand too. Anyway, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register, neat as you can. And so sometime later, Wizard Flynn. Well, ain't that a German name? Just rolls off the tongue, it does. 
All right, Mr. Flynn, on behalf of the Adventurers Guild, I officially... And then suddenly... Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve is my witness, I swear to you, I'll bring you your money. Yeah, we got problems here. In the East, it is said that even a merciful god might be driven to vengeance if thrice blasphemed. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend. You two attend to this scum. No, please! Mercy! Yeah. Well, ain't that a sorry sight, nor an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Just the same, if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe, alright? <laughs> of course, I do enjoy hear of a gentleman's woes from with the women folk from time to time. Any road, welcome to Old Isle, wizard! Take a moment to catch your breath, and I'll teach you a little bit about our fair city. And so with that, the first quest is officially completed. So go ahead and hit complete, and since we're on a special server, you're going to get double experience points, so instead of 50, you'll get 100. So go ahead and scroll by pressing X. Keep going. Alright. Touchpad again. X and circle again. And so now you'll speak with Momodi again. So double click on her with X. So now you get to take on this quest, so go ahead and accept it. Before you go, charge enough to find your fortune. I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform as to help you get to know the place. First of all, I want you to visit the Aetherite Plaza. To head there, head west from here till you reach Emerald Avenue, then look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called an Aetherite. If it weren't for Aetherites, traveling around at yours, you would be a damn sight more troublesome than it is. Of course, you'll still need to attune with them before you can use them, so be sure to do that with one in the plaza. You ever attune with an Aetherite before, wizard? If not, just lay your hand on the thing and you'll see what I mean. When you've done that, I want you to pay a visit to uh, the Pugilist Guild over at the Platinum Mirage. Assuming those weapons of yours ain't just for show, you might consider training there. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange over on the Steps of Thal. Go to some oral across Eorzea and beyond turn up there every day. You'll have no trouble finding armor, weapons, or anything else a fledgling adventurer like yourself might need. You might say that everything's for sale here in Oldah, as long as you've got the gill, which is the money in this game. Just make sure you don't pay more than you ought, wizard. There's plenty of small scruple to swindle on suspecting foreigners like yourself, especially if they think no one's looking out for their best interests. Which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Cesar Roga and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he's read it. In short, then, visit the Aetherite Plaza, the Pugilist Guild, and the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Simple. Oh, but before you go, a word of advice. While there's more than a few unsavory characters out there who will try to take advantage of you, there are also some with honest-to-goodness problems who you should consider offering a helping hand to. A lot of folk are lured to the city by the promise of wealth and power. What many of them fail to realize is that instead of chasing out their guild the moment they get here, they ought to be making friends. Let it be known that you're willing to give as much as you get, and opportunities will come your way. Speaking of which, you should speak with the smith over yonder. Those lads always have some good advice for up and coming adventurers. Otherwise, that's about it from me. It's past time you got going. Oh, and let me know when you finish, will you? That way I won't spend my days worrying that you're down to your small clothes without a guilt of your name. Yeah, we don't need to worry about the smith all that much because you won't be sticking around that long enough to make use of his services. Alright, so now you'll be leaving the quicksand the same way you came in. So once we load back in, we'll be able to move around. Alright, so... Yeah, if you use the right joystick to pan the camera around... Oh, I see. And then you can head back out the way you came. Also, you might want to do what you've been doing before with touchpad X circle. Yeah, they, they keep doing this too, but this is because of the fact that you're in the intro section. Oh, cancel out. Press circle to cancel out. And then do touchpad again. X circle. And yeah, you gotta do this three times. Alright, so take a left, head out the door. There you go. 
And so now once you do, also, um, use the right joystick, um, turn, you want to go left first. Yeah, also you might want to pan the camera up with the right joystick so, yeah, that you're not always having, um, you're not having a weird angle of view. So, yeah, you'll run over, yeah, you'll keep going. So, yeah, you'll be following the icons on screen with the arrows on them. So here you'll be turned to the right. So is this where the aetherite is going to be? So it's going to be in a li little hidden area. Oh, turn to your right. Turn to your right. There's the aetherite. So you go ahead and click onto it once you get there. Alright, so press X to double click. So now you're officially tuned to the Aether, right? Hi, Laventra. Might you have come at the behest of Miss Mamodi of the Quicksand? Yeah, I got another dwarf to say hello. Excellent. Which brings us to the matter of the attunement fee. That'll be 100,000 gil if you please, sir. What? <laughs> Apol <laughs> apologies, but I do relish the opportunity to make that jest. The look on your face is absolutely priceless. Ah, but the fact that you were so easily deceived suggests to me that you are unfamiliar with the ethos of aetherites. Allow me to explain. These crystalline agglomerations, <laughs> that's quite a hard word, tap into ethereal energies and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Perchance you have heard of a turn in teleport? Well, these transportation spells make direct use of aetherites and their connection to the flow of ether. Given that there is an aetherite in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer with a mind to explore the realm will wish to seek out and attune himself to each and every one. But even if you have no intention of wandering beyond the Sultanate's borders, it will be prudent for you to attune yourself to any aetherite you encounter from now on. So yeah, anytime you see a blue crystal, you'll want to double click on it. And there are quite a few in the city. I pray that you found that informative. Should you wish to learn more about aetherites or transportation magic, I should be happy to answer your questions. Alright, so I'll go ahead and scroll through with X. Alright, so once again, touchpad X circle. Alright, so now you'll turn around and go across the street to where the Pugilist Guild is, so... Get on out. So yeah, you won't, you won't be able to act or interact with anyone with a red icon, so... Go a little bit to your right. So you want to go through those gates right there. to the right and then to the left so yeah this is where you'll officially sign up with the pugilist guild um turn to the right yeah you have to speak with the register yeah this guy the gag gagaruna here so double click on him greetings and welcome to the pugilist guild i see you already walked the path of the pugilist see if your journey has only just begun well, I highly recommend you add your name to our role, for as there is no better place in all the realm to train on our discipline than here. The origins of pugilism as we know it can be traced back to the staging of barehanded bouts at the Colosseum. These contests attracted fighters from far and wide, bringing their myriad styles crashing together on the blood sands. Amidst this chaos intermingling styles, there is a rose of pugilists of every singer of strength and skill. This woman made it her life's mission to master every form she encountered that she might refine her arts. Among her many some worthy exploits, we pugilists remember her participation in the gladiator tournament most fondly. Back when barehanded fighting was still seen as a pastime for peasants, she took on fully armed and armored gladiators and effortlessly bested the lot of them. Word of her feet spread like across the realm like wildfire, of course, and old Oz swiftly transformed into a center of pugilism, with people flocking from all over to train under this master among masters. The woman's name was Cornelia, and it is to her that the Pugilist Guild owes its existence. The art practiced here is based on her all-encompassing style, and this training hall is modeled upon the one which she once built. And there it is, a brief history of our guild. I've told this tale a thousand times, but gods, it never fails to fan the flames of my fighting spirit. Mm -hmm. Now then, should you wish to proceed with informant, you must first obtain the Guildmaster's approval. Let me know if you would like to meet him. So yeah, you'll actually want to speak with him again, because you'll actually need his help. So double-click on Gagaruna again. Are you ready to present yourself for the Guildmaster's inspection? 
So yeah, you'll take the first quest because this will also help you out as far as getting experience. Master Hammond is among the greatest pugilists of our time. For long years, the man ruled the blood sands as the Holy Fist, though he has since retired in favor of training aspiring fighters. You'll find him overseeing his charges yonder. Go now and show to him the fighting spirit that burns within you! Alright, so turn to the left and um, Hammond will be able to speak with you. Oh, keep turning left. Yeah, the guy with a black cap on. Gotcha. So double click on him. <laughs> Past time you got your ass back here. Well, what did the dancer have to say about my proposition? Yeah, you can tell this guy's a sugar daddy. You're not my own boy. There's no dancer. There never was. I'm not doing anything indecent. I swear to the gods. Hmm. Yeah, when you're a champion fighter, you tend to attract a certain clientele. What? You're here to enroll? <laughs> well, why didn't you say so sooner? In my capacity as Guildmaster, I'd be glad to give you a primer on the art of Pantan combat. Doubtless you already know this, but we pugilists fight with our fists and feet. But we don't do as much damage as a blade, it hardly matters when you can land several blows for each swing of the sword. What we lack in destructive force, we more than make up in speed and cunning. Under my guidance, not only will you master striking techniques, you'll also learn to string them together to deliver an endless flurry of blows. Only through such fierce combinations can a pugilist realize his potential. Yeah! Yeah, he can still throw a punch as fast as he can, but of course, since he's getting old <laughs> in his age, <laughs> I'll spend from all this talking. You ought to speak more, son. You give me a chance to catch my breath, but where was I? Oh, right. Join the guild before you do so. I must warn you that the path of the pugilist is long and arduous. Do you believe what you've got to takes to go the distance? Be honest with yourself now. So, can you go the distance? Press left and select X, because, yeah, you wouldn't want to let him down. Oh, left on the D-pad. Oh, right. L left on, yeah. There you go. Ah, yes, your fighting spirit. I can see it in your eyes. I see no reason to deny your place within these halls. Welcome to the guild, son. For your first lesson, I want you to test your fighting skills against the vermin of Thanlin. Get down in there, put three marmots, three hornets, and three shrews. Return here when the deed is done. Alright, so that's something you'll be able to do to gain experience later, but first let's go over to the market. So head on out of the Pugilist Guild, turn around, and head on out the door. And then once you get past the gates, you're going to go as far to the right as you can. So since this will take a while, of course we are here... Um, supporting your charity, Far Well for Hire, in support of Cystic Fibrosis Canada. So, um, while you're heading off to the markets, um, why don't you tell our audience, because they may not have been here last year when you came to join us for Rocket League, why don't you tell us a bit about Far Well for Hire and what it's all about? Yeah, I'm, first and foremost, I'm really grateful to Matthew for allowing me to be here again and to do this supporting my campaign. and. What I do is in the month of May, which is Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month, I hire myself out for odd jobs. Whatever job needs to be done, if it's a washing a car or weeding a garden, I'll do it in exchange for a donation to Cystic Fibrosis. That's, that's really awesome, yeah. And we know that this is um, your sixth year doing the campaign. That's correct. And so, yeah, you've already been almost the entire month now to this point. So, as we head along a little further, so, um, yeah, here's Cesaroga over here. So, you'll go ahead and have a few words with him. Whoops. And you are, oh, a newly come adventurer. But of course, yes, I am Cesaroga. What can I do for you? Ah, you would have me teach you the ways of the marketplace? Very wise. As my feet. You expect me to do it for free? Surely you jest. My dear adventurer, when you ask an old on for a favor, you should at least try to make it worth his while. Judging by your garb, I'd rather doubt you could afford my services, but the fact that you offer nothing is laughable. So yeah, this is where you offer the letter intro of introduction that Momodi gave you, so press X in order to move over there, click on the letter of introduction, and hand it over. Oh, Mistress Momodi instructed you to seek me out, did she? <laughs> Consider yourself fortunate to have such influential friends. I shall be brief and you shall be attentive. 
You stand in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultanates. Being advantageously situated in relation to the other city-states, old Oz markets have served as both the literal and figurative centers of Eorzean commerce. All the great overland trade routes lead to our city, and the majority of maritime trade between Vilbrand and Aldernard passes through our ports. Because of this, countless companies and consortia have chosen Old Oz as their base of operations. You see to it that this marketplace is awash with merchants and money lenders day and night. Anything a man could ever desire can be purchased here, provided he has sufficient funds. Surely there's something you seek adventure? A deadlier sword, perhaps, or a shinier trinket? Whatever it is you want, the exchange will have it. To the north, you will find merchants peddling armor and accessories, curatives, and crafting materials. And then, and to the south, you'll find weapons, tools, and an assortment of other useful items for sale. Seeking out a particular merchant or a prowess to your heart's content, but do try to remain aloof should you find something that piques your interest. Decisions made in the heat of the moment are usually unwise, especially where coin is concerned. That is all for the complimentary aid you shall have from me, and far too much for my taste. My regards to Momodi. Now, off with you. Alright, so with that taken care of, you'll then turn back and go back the way you came. Also, you'll do touchpad X circle again to clear that off your screen. Um, something else I should, um, check here real quick. Let me, um, take a look at the controls real quick. I need to make sure if there's something that I can find that might be of more use to you. Um... Was it not over on this side? No, it doesn't appear to be on this side. Alright. So now you can go back to where Momodi was. And so now we'll, as we head back on over, um, we can talk a little bit more about um, your inspiration for why you're doing this campaign and who, wh why you've been doing it for as long as you have. Yeah, I've... Uh... My family has been affected by cystic fibrosis. Uh, two of my sisters passed away from the disease. If you don't know what it is, cystic take, fibrosis... Take left upstairs. Oh, right. Cystic fibrosis is the most common fatal genetic disease affecting Canadian children and young adults. And two of my sisters were born with cystic fibrosis and they passed away many years ago now, ago now more than 20. Oh, go, go, find Momo, go back oh, over to Momodi. So I do this campaign in their memory. Alright. How's your tour of the city, wizard? Get lost, did you? Ah, oh, well, Old Oz is a big place with lots to see and do, but wandering around aimlessly don't pay the bills. If you're serious about making a living here, you'll need to remember where things are. So when you go exploring, explore like you've got a purpose, eh? Alright then. All that's left to you is to work hard, make money, and spend it here at the quicksand. Alright, so go ahead and complete your request. So that'll once again give you double experience, and because you did get double, you're automatically a level two. Yeah, and you haven't even fought anything yet. <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and um touchpad X circle again. Alright, so now um we can't take any more quests from Mamodi, so we're gonna have you go out into the field to fight things. So head back outside. And then you'll hang a right. You can press triangle to jump over things if something's in your way. So while you're moving, you can press triangle. Which, which one's oh. triangle? Oh, yeah, I think you press square by accident. Okay. So press circle to go out. Triangle's the top one? Yeah. There you go. Alright. So you'll turn to the right here. And then you'll head on out in order to start fighting the things that Hammond wanted you to take on. So yeah, here's where you'll actually get to do combat. Plus, also by leaving the city, you get a reward for um, exp exploration. So, I'll be able to do that again. Um, touchpad X circle twice. Alright, so now you'll start fighting the things that they wanted you to fight. So, 
anywhere you see a creature with an icon above its head, you'll go ahead and press X to target it. So, oh, you're running by them. Well, where are you? Uh, to, pan the camera to your right. So yeah, there's an enemy oh, okay. with a... So you'll select it, and then you'll hold down R2. And then you'll... While you're holding it down, you'll use circle to punch. You'll use circle to... So get up to him with your left joystick. And press circle to start punching him. So just keep going until he's taken out. Alright, so you'll keep doing this until you've killed off enough enemies to um, achieve your targets. So, yeah, anywhere you see an enemy with an icon over its head, you'll go ahead and select it, and then you'll use circle to fight it. Oh, yeah, R R2 and circle. Oh, yeah, you gotta hold down R2 as you're fighting. So yeah, as we're taking the opportunity to do some fighting here, um, t like we pointed out, you've been doing a variety of odd jobs um, in support of your campaign. What have you been having the opportunity so far to do? Well, it's one of those things where every year that I do this, and you mentioned earlier, Matthew, this is the sixth year of the campaign. Uh, I end up doing pretty much everything. I've washed cars, I've cleaned a lot of eaves troughs this year cut some lawns uh, it's been it's been pretty incredible and you and because you are going to these people you get to travel all across our community in order to be able to do these things too I certainly do right, so since you've already killed enough of the star marmots you don't need to fight any more of them okay is that what I'm fighting now star marmots yeah so also am I looking for something different yeah you're um Looking for, um, looking for some snapping shoes. So follow the red circle. You see where the red circle is on your map? So yeah, on the, on the big map you see a red circle on the screen. So turn to the right and go towards the red circle. Oh, I think I got you now. So yeah, you'll see other players just like you who are getting started in the journey on this game. So yeah. Should be um, pin to the left. Let's go over to the left a little. All right. Yeah. All right. Go forward then. Well, I meant forward as in turn left and then go forward. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There you go. There are the snapping shrews. So just like before, you'll click on them with X and hold down R2 and circle. Got to get up to them. Because yeah, you you are doing martial arts. There are um, warrior classes in this game that do use. Um, spells as well as bow and arrow as well. So yeah, now you need to find two more. So as we go along as well, um, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the other things that you've done during the course of the campaign? Yeah, this year, uh, let me see, I've been washing some cars. Uh, I'm going to go out with a contractor tomorrow on a job site. I'm not exactly sure what he's got in mind, but uh, we'll find out when we get there. So I'll probably right. be working on a house. Okay, so now that you've accomplished what you needed to do, um, you'll now head back to Hammond with the Peter skill. So now you're going to hold down L2, which is the opposite side, and press X. And that will turn you, so return to old stuff, so now I'll turn, cl click to the left, and yep, yes. And that'll take you back to the main hub of old Oz. I also did a lot of painting this year, which I don't particularly enjoy. <laughs> Fumes? No, it's just I don't like doing the job. No? No. Don't think you'll do it good enough? Exactly. I'm very particular about it. Alright, so now that you're back in the city, you'll head back across the street since you are at the Aether, right? Um, also, I should get you to touchpad circle, or touchpad X circle again three times to clear the icons off. Okay, so then 
Leave the Aetherite area. Oh, you're turning the wrong way. Oh. Alright, yep, you're fine. Head on out. Oh, Oops, <laughs> Oops you're on the map. Um, press circle. Yeah, ang angle it back. With a pu pull back on the right joystick. Oh, sorry, other way. There. Yeah, there you go. Okay, turn to the right. And so you'll head back to across the street to speak with Hammond, and he'll give you completion for the quest. Yeah, it does sometimes rain here. Also, I mentioned that you won't be able to interact with people who have a red icon. Oh, right. So press circle to take him off. There All right, is. so... Oh, no, no, that's not him. Oh. Hang left. <laughs> so, yeah, to the right. And back to the left. I remember now. Yeah, you'll you'll get the hang of it, if, even if you won't be playing for that long. Oh, no, Hammond's back up there. So, yeah, speak with Hammond again. Double click. On X. Oh, you're back, and no most for the assertion. You throw Vegas a truly pleasant thing. You've gotten off to a fine start, son. To help you on your way, I want you to have this hunting log. Within it, you'll find the names of various creatures, opponents that you might hone your skills against. If you want to become strong, you mustn't neglect your training. Indeed, a pugilist is only as good as the number of strikes he's dealt. Get out the wizard and let your fist fly. When the time is ripe, I'll teach you something new. There's no limit to the potential of youth. I look forward to seeing you come into your own. <laughs> so yeah, um, click on through, probably pressing X. Alright, so now you'll leave. Um, so since he gave you a hunting log, you'll, you'll be able to fight some of the enemies you fought earlier in order to gain more experience. But you can also now um, have free reign to interact with anyone else that has an icon over their head. So anywhere you see an icon over someone's head, the yellow ones, you'll be able to interact with them. So you just walk by one, actually. So I'll turn around, turn the camera around. Oh, too far. So yeah, behind the pillar on the right. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you'll click on yeah Jajakuta there, and he'll give you a quest. So you'll go ahead and take it on. Tell me, what brings you here, friend? Hmm. Looking for a bit of work, perhaps? Some small job to add a little weight to that coin purse of yours? Hmm? Well, you're in luck. The pugilists have just placed an order with me for several of the leather gloves and harnesses they use for sparring. But the traders are cruel, so I, for I find myself lacking the hides required. Would that I had the pelts of a few snapping shrews. What say you, friend? Can I help a merchant down on his luck? Hmm? Bring me five snapping shrew pelts and I promise to make it worth your while. You can find the creatures roaming central Thanlin. So yeah, you'll know go back outside and fight some more of the snapping shoes that you were facing early in order to help this guy out and help him progress on his quest. So turn to the right. Hey there, Nilm. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. Oh, don't worry about it there, Nilm. Enjoy your vacation at Disney World or Land or whichever one you're at. Okay, so you should be heading on back outside of the city here. So, on your left. We'll have fun there, okay, Nell? Alright, so... Uh, now you'll go back to where you were before to find... Uh, um, the things you were fighting as well. Plus, also the Star Marvits now have new icons that are associated with your hunting logs, so you can fight them and you'll get experience bonuses if you kill a certain number of them. <laughs> because we are playing on a special server, you do get double experience points for killing it. So yeah, what you're essentially doing here by going to um, go, go to where the red circle is on the right. Um, on the oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, wait, wait, this one. 
Yeah, what you're essentially doing here by going to beat up some bad guys to get some pals. Um, I actually thought about this for a couple of weeks leading up to your arrival, and it, it makes me think that you doing um, errands for someone in this game is kind of like the Farwell for Hire simulator. <laughs> Yeah, not just doing it out in the real world, you get to do it here, and you also gain another skill level. Plus, you also gain another ability. So, take a left. Yeah, there are those snapping shoes again, so this time they need five. So, go up to them, then hit circle, and then you can use X to do a combo attack. So, then, so you'll do circle, and then the. Icon down at the bottom up here, and then you can be able to do a stronger attack. So keep killing them. It's because you need five. Yeah, wait, wait for the um, circle to completely finish going around, and then you can press X. Gotcha. Right. Go ahead. Keep going. There you go. Starting to get that hang of it now. Alright, so keep looking for two more. Yeah, they also do have vegetable gardens in here, though you don't often easily find them. Alright, there's another one. So, oh, ahead. yep, right ahead. So, jump over the fence with triangle. Yep. So as you still need a, another um, snapping shoot to kill off, um, we'll talk about some how far you're going with the Far Well for Hire campaign this year because um, this year um, we, we actually talked about it um, just before coming on, but now you're at experience level five, so congrats on that. Um, you do need to turn around though because you do need to kill one more snapping shrew. I missed one somewhere, didn't I? Yep, one straight ahead. So. Um, this year you're shooting for a $150,000 goal, which was 50000 higher than your goal from the previous year. Oh, yeah, don't worry. If, if you attack an enemy, it'll come back and attack you. Yeah, so I, uh, I had a $100,000 goal last year and ended up raising 138000 And so I thought this year I'll nudge it up just a little bit further and see what we can do. All right. So I'll get you to um, touchpad X, X circle again two more times. Oh, circle off. Oh, yeah. All right. So now you can go back into town and um, complete the quest that you just did. Yeah. Circle first, then X. Alright, so now you'll make your way back into the city in order to complete the quest, so... Yeah, head towards where the big gate is, you can't miss it. Oh, turn to the right. Yeah, right through there. And back into the city. So now you'll go back to where the person who gave you the quest um, was, and then you'll get his award. So hang a right. Also, as well, if you want to move faster, you can hold down L2 and press triangle and that'll make you run faster. Is this the guy? Um, no, that's not him. Yeah, he's the, the little guy from before. Oh, right. Yeah, hanging out by the Pugilist Guild on the left. Yeah, uh, there he is with the green icon in the back. Oh. Okay. Hang right. There you go. So go ahead and talk to him. 
Whoops. Nope, it's okay. Go okay. ahead and press sex and keep doing so. There you go. Exceptional! These are fine shoe pelts indeed. Well done, my friend. The Puget Guild is among my largest clients. I fear what would have come to pass had this order been delayed any longer. Take this, hmm? You more than earned it. So now you get to choose what shoes you want to wear or even possibly take money. So press up and then and then press to the right. So yeah, you're going to want to take the those shoes because they're suited for you as a pugilist. So press X to select them and then press down to complete the quest. Now, um, touchpad, X, touchpad X circle again. And then press options, which is... might not be able to see it here. I'll be able to... let me... Um, Take care of it for you. I'll be able to... Yeah, so we go ahead and equip those. And now you have new boots. Thank you. So now that you're at level 5, you can actually take on Momodi's next quest. So I'll have you do that. So go back to the quicksand on your right. So yeah, you'll be able to... Get back there a little quicker. And so head up the stairs. Oh, not that way. <laughs> not quite. Oh, went past the doors. Okay, so she's on the opposite side of the room. So go back to the opposite side. Oh, no, not back out the way you came. <laughs> Anyway, back to Momoni, so now that you're level 5, you have a quest you can take from her. Well, younglin, how are you finding out about our fine old da? Got your bearings about you yet? If so, may I have to tell you venture beyond the city walls. The bustling the streets of old da are one thing, but the wilds of Thanlin, that's another altogether. I know a bloke you might fancy speaking to, and his name, name of Papa Sean. You'll find him over at the old da dispatch yard. No doubt he'll have some work for you. The dispatch yard's over in central Thailand. Just head out the door, cross the hall, and you'll see the gate of Null standing right back at you. Pass through it and head east. You won't come forward for long. There's dangers beyond the wall, though. More than like to care to count. Nothing too terrible, mind you, but feisty enough to attack you if you draw near. Don't say nobody cared enough to warn you. So before we do that, um, I'm actually going to have you do something important, because um, you won't be able to get past this next quest unless you get something for your head. So... Um, I'm gonna have you, um, well actually, let me check the map, cause there's something I need to, um, take a look at. Yeah, there's a mail carrier over here, so I'm actually going to give you a little hand by going over here. And we are going to run past the harems. And speak with this Moogle here. Moogles are... One of the definitive Final Fantasy creatures, these little white flapping things. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they are certainly um, very adorable in this game. So, we'll see if I can give you what you need. Oh. Let's fix that. And we need to get to some of this stuff in order to get what you really need. Which hopefully won't take that long. Now I'm just going to cycle through everything to see what, what you can use and what you can't. Mm. So mm -hmm. one Moogle has all of these letters? Mm-hmm. Yeah, hopefully we can find the gear that you need. Well, actually, this can help you too. Yeah, this actually can help you too. And so can this actually, but that's not actually what I was looking for. Yeah, I'll probably have to delete a few more letters to get the one thing we need because yeah it's always random with these letters
But yeah, there is actually a way to get around what we're trying to do here. I mean, I could have you go the easy way on this and um, have you run to the market to buy a helmet, but I actually, there's actually a special helmet that's available through these Moogles because I've been playing the game as long as I have. So these are like hacks that you get or? Um, not, um, rewards for rewards. playing the game for a set amount of time. Let's see if I can get more stuff to file through here. So yeah, that that thing tells you that more letters are coming through. This is taking a little longer than I would have liked. Yeah, you know, they're they putting, <laughs> they're giving us all the stuff that we don't require. Um, no, that's not it either. I'm, I'm really surprised it's taking us this long to get through everything. Yeah, so, so sorry about that's going on. Um, wh why don't you, um, is, are there any other things that you want to talk about in regards to Farwell for Hire while I'm trying to get this sorted out? Yeah, sure. If you're on Facebook at all, I would certainly encourage you to check out our Farwell for Hire Facebook page, which is Farwell, the number four, Hire. And that tells you the whole story about why we do the campaign and why, how it started, when it started that sort of thing and the money that we've been able to raise for really important research into cystic fibrosis over the past five years. So that's kind of the, the place to go for all of the info is on Facebook, far well the number four or higher. There we go. <laughs> the last thing we needed, the last thing that showed up, there we go. All right, so then we can equip you with this fancy little helmet and so now it'll allow you to go past where you're heading next so now we can take you out of the city so turn around now sorry that took so long so head take a left well you know yeah. matthew as a motorcycle rider i'm very happy to have this oh, go to the right Oops. helmets make me happy yeah who knows oh left yeah, who, know, who knows, maybe if you're lucky and um, people get the chance to see this. Oh, circle. Yeah, people get the chance to see this. Maybe they'll make a custom helmet that looks like this. Turn to the right. And hello to all the new viewers who are watching right now. Thanks for so much for being with us here for this special stream supporting Farwell for Hire. Take a left. So please make sure to... Um, show support for the stream by leaving a like, subscribing if you haven't already done so, and if you are able to make a financial contribution today to support the Far Well for Hire campaign, please click on the link posted in the chat so that you can be able to do that. So head back out of town so you'll be taking a right this time. So you are going where the green icon is on the map in the corner. So you'll just keep going straight. A little bit to the left. More. Yeah, yeah, so then hard left. Yeah, we wanna go right where that is. Yeah, there's the guy you're looking for. So Oh, keep following the train tracks. Yeah, there he is on the left. Oh, I got you. So 
I'll go ahead and double click on Pop Shot here. Well, you certainly look the part of an adventurer, my friend. Might you be the good soul Momodi advised me to expect, hmm? I am Papashan, station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I am truly no more than a tired old lalabelle passing his final years in quiet solitude. Twelve knows that there have been plenty both of these last five years since the calamity struck. The devastation was vast. Yet now, true old aunts work together, doing all in our power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt old art to the grandeur and majesty that you see today. The railways, which run through this dispatch yard, too, were born of the noble efforts of a great many souls. But there is still much work to be done. The wounds left by the calamity run deep, isolated areas beyond our lines of supply remain, and there are places yet wanting for relief and restoration. Uldan needs the aid of you and your brethren, friend. In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point, I suppose. I do believe I may have some work suited to one of your ability. So we'll go ahead and complete that quest. And boom, you get another experience level. Alright, so now you've got the snap punch. So now when you do attacks, they'll do circle and then X and then square. So you'll do it in that order to... Oh, yeah, I, I might need to turn the light on for you just so that I get lost in the dark. Sadly, my apartment has no um, room or light in the main room for whatever reason. So yeah, you'll go circle, then X, then square. Sure. Okay, okay. Alright, so you'll speak to Papa Sean again. And take on his quest. Since you've come all this way, it just so happens a number of sentries have been sent to guard the area. A dispatch to the dispatch yard, as it were. They have long been away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The hot days and cold nights can play hells on the mind and body out here. It isn't much, but go and give them these twilight pretzels, would you? I find comfort food always helps when I feel like killing myself. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't need to do that, so you'll be going to speak with three patrols, so starting to your right. So turn to your right, and behind that rock you should find someone. Oh, he must be above you, so keep going um, straight and then to the right, so come back down. So yeah, he's on the, on the ridge above you, I guess, so you have to walk around it until you can get up to where he is. If it'll let you get there. There you go. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, the that guy on lookout. So this is uh, battle I'm gonna engage in. Um, no, you're not gonna battle him. You're gonna give him the pretzel. Holt, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to put the pretzel on the ground and place your hands above your head. No, we don't need to go that far. So go ahead and select it. State your name and business. A twilight pretzel from Papa Sean. By the gods, forgive me. You could say this new post has my nerves in a twist. I'm terribly sorry for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, you may rest assured that the dispatch yard is safe so long as I stand watch. Please give Papa Sean my thanks and tell him that I only wish I could repay the favor. Alright, so now you'll turn to the right and go find your second patrol. So, yeah, off the cliff and then to your right. So now the sandstorm is coming. The weather's not important in regards to what we're doing here, but since we are out in the desert, sandstorms can happen. So it should be able to follow the path a little. Find the next person. In fact, if you pan the camera up, you should be able to see him. Yep, there he is on the right. You know, with the uh, icon over his head. Well, save me. Scorching days, freezing nights, this post will be the end of me. And so you'll give him a pretzel too. A twilight pretzel? Don't mind if I do. Ah, now that's a refreshing damn pretzel. I feel reborn. And so now the third one's gonna be behind you. So I'm gonna turn around. And you'll head on the opposite direction. Yeah, hopefully we get you far enough along in the story that you'll be able to see the first major plot point. So 
you know, should be able to see it coming into view soon. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, in fact, this guy on the left has the right idea. Yeah, he's chilling out by the lamppost. Western front clear, eastern front clear. And so now this is gonna be clear too. For me? From Papa Sean? A Twilight Pretzel, my favorite! How did he know? Can't fight on an empty stomach now, can I? Actually, I can't fight on any stomach. I suppose you could say I have no stomach for fighting. Alright, so now you'll go back to Papa Sean again to complete his quest, so turn around. So yeah, another far wall for higher simulator quest for you to complete. So go back to where the watchtower is, on the right. Yep, there you go, you can get around that. Yep, yeah, oh, there. there he is. Yeah, well, now I think about it, Matthew, you've given me more quests on this job than I've had on any other. <laughs> Lots of jobs within the job. Absolutely. You've returned, and with a deal fewer pretzels, I see. Tell me, how far all Sultans won centuries? Did they have anything to port? Anything at all? What? Nothing? Are you sure? Uh, oh dear. Take this for your troubles then, and stay a moment, there is more I would ask of you. And so, that quest is now done. And so you'll take his next quest. So, talk to him again. Was it? I have just this moment. N no, no, the time for consumer has passed. The truth is, even before I had you deliver those pretzels, I was privy to some most unsettling news. Which is the real reason I sent you to meet those Sultan Sworn. And so, yeah, here's our first major plot quest. So, go ahead and take it on. A no young noblewoman from a very prestigious family has run away from home and I've been ordered to see her to a safe return. The Sultan Sworn you met earlier are assisting with the search. Alas, it seems they found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you from the start, but we must proceed with caution. Should word of her disappearance spread, I fear others with less honorable motives may join the hunt. And we, should we allow it to come to any harm, not even a hundred beheadings would be punishment enough. That cannot happen, wizard. It must not. I need you to help me find her. Ah, Prince of Twelve, I knew I could count on you. I've instructed the others to expand the search, but Thanlin is vast and there are only so many of us. The young noblewoman's name is Lady Lelira. I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Sultan Tree. Good luck. Alright, so since you're at level 6, you should be able to handle this. So, turn around then, and go where the Sultan Tree is. So, yeah, run straight ahead. So yeah, the Sultan Tree is rather massive. You'll see it coming up on the horizon here, actually. So go to your right, a little bit. There you go. Oh, a little more. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. I got you. So yeah, as you walk, walk further away from the city, the enemies will also become more powerful in terms of experience level. Alright, so... I don't know where you'll be able to jump up. Yeah, you can. Alright, so... Yeah, right in the path here. Oh, right, you ran by it. There's a light that you need to interact with. So yeah, you'll interact on this light. Oh, Sultan Tree. Hmm. So now we're about to have your first significant battle. So, are you ready for it? Uh, sure. All right, so keep picking. So now, um, touchpad X circle again. Okay, so go to proceed. And so yeah, now now we get to see if you've been able to put what you've learned to good use. Oh, Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. 
Yeah, so go keep going. So yeah, we did Show find yourself. the young lady. Yeah, so yeah, we did find the young lady we were looking for. And we're not alone. <sighs> As you command, oh Lilira. Don't worry, he's on our side. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. <laughs> Don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. Hmm. And I prefer not to join them. If it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. <laughs> you should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Yeah, as I mentioned. We do have the first important battle of the game, Alas, and it's against that the thing. the station master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. So away she goes. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. Hmm. Okay, so while you're fighting this thing, you're gonna see... Um, orange um, appear on the screen. Whenever you see orange on the ground, run away from it. So run up to that enemy there and start attacking him. So I have to hold down R2. Hold on, you haven't selected them. Yeah, there you go. Now circle, then X, and then X, then square. There you go. Square. There you go, now you've done a full loop. So just repeat the process. And then square. And then square. Which is on the left. Square is on. Square is on. Oh, square yeah, is this yeah. button. So do it again. Uh oh. Reinforcements have come. You'll have to attack them too, so take your, s stop attacking the Blanga by pressing circle. And now you fight those two. So, circle. And then X. And then square. There you go. And also, he'll heal you along the way, so again, circle. Alright, he's dead, so now you can go back to the big guy. Select him. And square. Oh, he's got more again. So you have to stop attacking the big guy, go back to the little lower guy. Circle. Yeah, you'll know what you can attack with if it's highlighted on the on the button map there, on the hot bar. Perfect. I keep going. As we welcome a new viewer to the channel, Ultima Shield 88. Welcome to Let's Play Nobora Autism. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. And Zen Firebird. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us too. Alright, so... Yeah, your friend has defeated the big guy, so congratulations, you've completed your first major battle. All right. Some way, somehow, you're a good instructor. Thank you. Um, we'll, we'll take you, give you that in a moment there, Zen. Oh, is he just gonna walk off? Yep, he's just gonna walk off meanwhile. Your character, Wizard Flynn, noticed something on the ground. And 
You're just so curious, you have to see what it's all about. Well, actually, Zen, we're actually gonna see a little bit of the story right here. Because our guest character is now in a dream sequence. Well, that's how we started this thing. In a dream yeah, we sequence. did. Yeah. So yeah, you get a shot of light up to the heavens. But that's not all. Because it's your first time in this particular dream Hear, sequence. Feel. Think. Remember this voice? Yeah, it's like, where are, where are we? Yeah, you got a few fireworks as well. Yeah, once that's all done. Crystal Bearer. Yeah, speaking of crystals. I am Hydaelyn. All made one. Hydaelyn yeah. is, in a essence, the main deity of the game. That shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. So yeah, she's trying to guide and you. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. Yeah, I think that's a lot of crystals. Well, get ready to check out the next one that's coming. Yeah, you are just a little speck of dust in compared to this By giant thing. Deeds, shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. Plus, you're never alone in this journey. That was a nicer dream sequence than last time. Yeah, no, no creepy guy with a, in a black robe and a red mask. Exactly. Yeah, you get to take a victory lap <laughs> around the giant form of Heidelin herself. Go now, my child. And shine thy light on all creation. And thus, the dream sequence comes to an end. Gotcha there, Zen. Thanks. Ah, coming around now. Yes, yeah, so and I can start going through the text again with X. Quick wash and break. Oh, we'll be right back. sure. Give me a reason to do that. Oh, good. Yeah, for those who are um, watching, um, we, we did start late because um, we, um, Farble for Hire was late to arrive this evening, but um, thankfully we were able to do this as intended. And so, um, for those of you who are wondering, um, we will be supporting him with a $150 contribution this evening towards his cause and for his campaign. It's definitely been um, cool to have Mike back for this second year. Of course, last year we had him um, when we debuted Rocket League, but last year he was calling the action with me. This year we decided to let him take the controls, and so 
he's having, I think he's having a good time enjoying the game to this point, and it, of course, having the opportunity to have him back once again has really been wonderful so we can be able to support his cause. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Welcome back on a yearly basis, too. I heard you telling the story again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for those who joined us late. Would you mind telling me what that was? All right, keep going. Right. Hmm, if I only knew. A denizen of the Void, at any rate. The Void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't Get suppose the feet. answer came to you in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> how did you know? No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes ev- Whoops. Hmm? It's all right. Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? <laughs> I shall return and tell them myself. And away she goes again. As you wish, your impetuousness. <laughs> I suspect we shall meet again before long. Until then, do try and stay awake. And so there we go. So now you'll head back over to Papa Sean. So um, you'll be hanging right once you are past the rocks. So hang right. Don't worry about that guy. <laughs> yeah, he's too, he's too powerful for you. Hey there, Kurumi. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. So yeah, once you um, reunite with Papa Sean, you'll be able to successfully complete your first big quest. Hang right. And so you'll go ahead and speak with Papa Sean again. There you go. Yeah, in fact, there's Lilira right now. She beat me to him. Thank the gods you've returned. You had us all so worried. You too realize what would happen if a person of your noble stature were to be injured, or worse? Why, her grace the Sultana would be beside herself with grief, and so would her subjects. I dare say they'd be weeping in the streets. But I have already given you cause to weep, Papa Sean. You and the people of Uldar. Yeah, the guards a little lower on themselves. Please, uh, you're not to say such things. We will find it, I swear to you. It is not my place to make demands, my lady. But I beg of you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologize for causing you undue worry, Papa Sean. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in the future. Good idea. And so with a little curtsy, she'll make her way back home. Along with her escort. And so with them on their way. I cannot thank you enough, wizard. I understand you fought bravely to protect Lady Lalira from void sent fiends. For your gallant service, you deserve all the riches of the world. Faults, alas, are only a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. Hmm, a sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his shoulder? 
I see you met Thancred. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the ether. Rather too fond of the sound of his own voice my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, wizard, you're just the sort of adventurer we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to the people of Thanlin as you did to us today. And thus, your big quest is finished. Now here's the question. We know that you were late to join us, and it, we have, um, and we did promise that you would be here till 10 o'clock. Um, were you okay with um, doing the two full hours, or are you fine with finishing up things here? Uh, I don't... How do you feel? Can we continue a little bit further? Yeah, you can if you want. By all means. Okay, sure. Alright, so go ahead. Um, Sissy Doha on the right will have your next quest, so go ahead and speak with him. Also, you did go up to level 7. So go ahead and speak with him. You're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I've resolved to pay a debt of gratitude which I owe to the owner of the Coffer and Coffin. For this purpose, I purchased from the Royal Plantations a prodigiously plump pumpkin, a particularly popular piece of produce. Hmm. Alas, I cannot part this place to procure and profit the pumpkin. You see, the scheduled shipment from the Nanawa Mines, which I await, is late. I would prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the coffer and coffin. Present those the seed of purchase to Gagari at the Royal Plantations and she will yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend to this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. Alright, so a little to your left and you'll go to where the pumpkin is. So head on forward and make a little run to your left. Yeah, and you'll find the person needing to speak to over there on the right. If Sisodoa doesn't come calling soon, the spectacular specimen shall sadly be past its prime. But, thankfully, we've got what you need. So, turn it over. There you go. Oh, so you're to deliver this decadent delight. I can say with confidence that any gourmand will be grateful for such a grand gift. Here's the pumpkin. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. Fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as such, we are always del del deluged with demand. You know the way to the Coffin Coffin, correct? It's beyond the bridge to the northwest. Look for a place where local laborers lounge. Alright, so you'll be leaving the garden and then once you do that, you'll be heading to the right. A little more to the right. Because yeah, you'll ultimately, as they said, be going past that bridge right there. So, so go ahead and take a right and cross the bridge. Do you normally take on all of these... Uh, enemies that are around, like the hornets and stuff. Um, yeah, if they are um, useful for getting bonuses for your experiences, absolutely. Gotcha. Yeah, you'll see a lot of the early enemies have blue, little blue icons next to their name. That means that they'll only attack you if you attack them first. But there are also enemies with red icons which will attack you if you get too close to them. Oh, keep going down the path. Keep oh, going I down the path. Getting... Oh, he's going to be on my left. Yeah, he's going to be in this building right here. Gotcha. Yeah, into the local pub we go. Hey there, Roger. Drink for you, laddie. You will get that ale or of spirits for your coin than me, a place. Oh, I like that. Alright, so let's turn over the pumpkin. What's that? We seriously do ask you to bring this out to me. <laughs> so even that foul mouth drunk knows the meaning of remorse. Reckon this is for the time I carried his drink sold on house back home. <laughs> but hell's an honest to gold pumpkin from the royal plantations. I can't wait to see what the cooks will do with her. The lads here scoped down beastly amounts of meat and it's starting to tell on the elf. It'll be good to get more vegetables in the berries, assuming I can get the stubborn bastards to try something new. Thanks for the help, laddie! So go ahead and complete that quest, and then he'll give you another one. So off we go to the next one. You know, laddie, if you're just gonna stand around with your thumb over your ass, I know I can give you something to do. Thanks to me unbelievably low prices, we've no shortage of customers here at the Coffer and Coffin. Not more the seems who can account for to hire much help. We're chronically understaffed. 
What's more, that those lazy ass types what refuse to come and order at the counter. It'd be a great help if you could attend these customers for me. No, mark their orders on these here slips and then bring them here. Oh, and don't forget about old adult phones outside. So yeah, now you'll speak with the patrons who have the icons above their heads. So wherever you see one, you'll go ahead and speak with them. Oh, yeah, she's not a patron, but she will sell you some food if you want. Oh, okay. So what do I get? But yeah, if you don't need to speak to her, just press circle to close out. Also, um, touchpad X circle again. Yeah, th those come up every time you experience something new, so... Yeah, go to the patrons with the icons above their heads, and wherever you see one, talk to them. So, yeah, you just pass one right there. Um, Where's that? On oh, the left. here. No, on the, the, the icons above their heads, the um, circles. Yeah, these guys. Let's go ahead and talk to them. Gods, I'm starving! Bring me ale, grilled dodo, and smoked shrew loaf. And make it quick! Business is good. Too good, even. I got no the time to take a piss, let alone eat. The mere thought of the coffin's cooking makes my mouth water! And so, yeah, you'll speak with the big guy behind him, too. The strongest brandy one you got, I need help to forget. And then turn around and get the next order. Keep going. Yeah, you'll talk to that guy on the right. There you go. Those balls I'm spent. Grilled dodo and a tanker of ale to wash it down. Uh, here I'm again, spending what meager coin I've got at the coffin. It ain't me fault, I tell you. You do the same if your wife served up shite, heavy, bleeding day. <laughs> and then the last one is, they mentioned was outside. So, leave the pub for a moment, and the person you need to speak to is right there. Roger's new errand boy, are you? Well then, I'll keep it simple for your sake. A tankard of your finest ale, chilled with an ice shard. <laughs> There's nothing like a tall drink to help one forget about the trifling things in life, like work. Alright, so go back in on inside. And speak with Roger again, over at the bar. That's all the older then. So yeah, go ahead and turn them over. Let's see here. Ale, brandy wine, grilled dodo. And for all the funds, let me guess. One's hanker of ale. Right bleeding miser, that one. I'd have put me boot off his ass. <laughs> Any anyway, road, you did good, laddie. By way of thanks, I'm gonna tell you something what ought to prove to your profit. So go ahead. So now you're gonna get the chance to take some food or some money. So go press up and then press to the right. So press up on the D-pad. So, yep, there you go. And then press to the right to choose either food or some money. So, mustard eggs are on the... Oh, nope, back to the right. Again. So you have the choice of the mustard eggs, or on the right, if you click again, Oh. some Allegan tin pieces, which can be exchanged for money if you want. Okay. So you have to choose one of the two before you can complete the quest. I like eggs. Oh, that's good, so do I. And now you're up to level 8. Oh, interesting. Okay, so go ahead and take this next quest. Don't worry about what's going on inside, but a brawl has broken out. What is Black Brush's station solely on demand? The stone torches there can't get a moment's peace. It all helped none that the Atlanx had been multiplying. Fuck, it's nobody's business. For every critter Warren and his crew put down, two more of the buggers spawn in his place. I was thinking, mayhap you can make yourself use of a station by calling some Atlings. I don't doubt Warren would appreciate the help. And if you win his trust, he's likely to have more work for you. Mind you, you'll need to show the man proof of your deeds. But I will saw Atlink Mandibles all to do the talking for you. As we welcome a new viewer to the channel, Frost Rain Manix. Welcome to Let's Play No Brawl Autism. Welcome to the stream, glad to have you with us tonight. So, yeah, do do this quest, you're gonna head on outside. Don't worry about the brawl that's breaking out on the right. You're just gonna go after the mandibles. So, everything in the red circle on the map. So, to the right. So yeah, wherever you see these antlings, you're gonna try and fight them. But you're gonna have some competition, because other people want to fight them too. Okay. So yeah, wherever you see the antlings, you're gonna beat them up and take their mandibles. 
Oh, not close enough. Gotta be close enough. Closer? Yeah, remember, you're on Pugilist, so you gotta get right up in his face. There's one down, so you need to do it four more times. Ah! Oh, yeah. So yeah, those are the um, that's the orange that I was talking about. If those, oh, if you're okay. if you're standing in those when the enemy completes its move, you get hurt a lot. Also, you don't need to turn around. You're outside of the red circle. Yeah, your ants are on... A couple of ants on your right. Yeah, there's one right there for you. Yeah, that's how you do it. So yeah, you just avoided getting sprayed in the face. Yeah, he's gone. Alright, there's another ant. Yeah, this one's trying to run away. He knows what he's up against. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so you just need one more. So, you can see somewhere on the... Yep, there's one right there. Yeah, once you got this one, you'll be able to move on. Alright, so now you're gonna hang a right. And you're gonna go to where this Aetherite is. And you'll speak with the guy with the green icon. Yeah, good idea to touch the Aetherite first. Oh, yeah, you gotta click on it. Oh, of course. So now you'll be able to teleport between big eighth, right? So, um, touchpad X circle again a few more times. Alright, there you go. Now you can turn over the mandibles to the guy who needs them, who's behind you. Oh. Yeah, I picked the wrong person, sorry. So, yeah, press X to... So yeah, you oh, wanna... Yeah. Sorry. That's alright. Okay. What? You say you put down some antlings? You are scarce the first to come here and make that claim, hoping to earn a quick coin. Unless you have proof of this feat, you'll not see a single guild from me. So go ahead and turn them over. Balls, balls, are those antling mandibles? Then it's true, you really called the beasts. I apologize for doubting your words. With old on nearby, you'd think we were out of harm's way. Truth is, the Anlings have been more active than ever. We can never have too many able-bodied adventurers to help preserve the peace in the area. If you would lend us your aid, I would gladly assign you a task. Gods, no, we have no shortage of them here. And so you'll go ahead now and make another selection again. This time oh. it's for equipment, so press up. And so you'll be taking the wristbands there. Yeah, because that's the equipment that you'll be able to use. And there's another level for you. You're now at level 9. Well, my friend, I think I should call it an evening right there. All right. Yeah, I think that's a great place to end it. I mean, Very good. Yeah, you did. I mean, getting to level nine in about two hours. And like I said, this was definitely the far wall for hire simulator for you. You definitely got to see how now not just battle, but getting to go out and perform tasks for people is very beneficial in this game. Just like helping out people with various tasks has been beneficial for your charity drive for supporting cystic fibrosis we definitely are very grateful once again to benefit the cause and we give you as promised the 
our contribution of $150. Thank you very much, Matthew. That's amazing. I know that uh, you knew that I increased my goal this year, so you increased your donation. And Indeed we did. I thank you very much for that. Absolutely. It's awesome. So, so once again, a huge thanks again to Mike Farwell of Farwell for Hire for joining us once again. Hope, hopefully we can be able to bring you back again next year. I would look forward to that. Absolutely. So th thanks all to our viewers who came to join us tonight. Thank you to all of our new viewers as well for coming out this evening. It was nice to uh, make some new friends and meet some new audience members. We do stream this game on Mondays and Tuesdays on a regular basis. And with the new expansion coming out in July, certainly a lot of more opportunity to see this game stream so you'll definitely have a lot to look forward to so thanks everyone for watching this special edition of final fantasy 14 with far over higher so thank you everyone for watching tonight and so on behalf of mike farwell and myself this is matthew at novora autism saying take care and i'll see you soon <laughs>